Hello, uh, my name is Leonard and I wanted to do a quick video on how to change your path from Jupyter uh, Python Jupyter Notebook in case you want to have your files be driven from a different level. So I've already launched my Jupyter here and as you can see the drives that I have here if I go ahead and bring my uh, directory services here you'll see that these files um, are actually all based off my current drive so what you're seeing there my 3d objects the desktop and all that is actually based on my PC but what I want to do is have my notebook actually be launched from this path here the D drive rather than my local C drive so that's what we're going to be doing and I will show you how to quickly change that because as you can see uh, from the notebook itself there's no way of going beyond this uh, level here and that's for security reasons because uh, from the Python guy, or from the Anaconda guys, they mentioned that uh, if somebody has ability to get to your uh, Jupyter service, then they can be able to manipulate the path. So they want to make sure that that's the highest level that you can be able to go to. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and close this guy here. And I'm going to launch my, you can either use your command prompt, but in my case, I'm going to just use my PowerShell because I am uh, very... Um, I, I prefer to use PowerShell than the command prompt uh, because of the blue that's behind the scene. So what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to change my drive to where I want my files to go. And that's the file that we had copied. So I'm going to come here and do CD and I'm going to paste my path. And that's where, again, we don't have anything in that path at the moment. So now from that path, I can come here and type Jupyter. And it's going to launch the command window uh, for Jupyter. And as you can see now, uh, it's launching it. And you see now I'm actually at that level of where I wanted to do to see my files. So if I come here and I create a new notebook. And we're going to call this notebook uh, testing path. Go ahead and rename it. And we can come here and do a markdown here. This is a test path notebook. And I'm going to go ahead and run that. So if I go ahead and save this guy, then we go back now to my notebook here. Uh, remember the directory had nothing prior to this, but now I have that my test path here, which is what we just created. Um, and as you can see now, this is all running from my D drive. So rather than having it run on your local drive, uh, that's how you are able to move things around. Um, so over here now, that's where my test path is. And as you can see, I can be able now to build everything that I want to run on this environment. Uh, hopefully that was a quick and sweet video uh, that, will, that will allow you to be able to change the path of where your uh, notebooks are running from. Thank you and have a great day.